Okay, now this is a keyboard I have been showcasing in some of my previous videos and you guys seems to be quite keen on knowing how exactly did I theme this or how did I customize this with all these backgrounds, some color effects on the keyboard. So I thought why not make a quick video and let you know guys how you can get this theme on your keyboard on your Samsung phones. Before we get started, if you love the contents on this channel, do consider subscribing and give this video a like if you find this useful. Now let's go ahead. This is a Samsung keyboard of course on which we can customize loads of things. Uh, for customization, we do need the GoodLock application. And on GoodLock, we need a couple of modules. We can customize the theme on a Keys Cafe and we can do that on the Theme Park as well. Basically, the Keys Cafe module is integrated into Theme Park as well. So we can do that on both these modules. Now, if the GoodLock is not supported on your device, then of course you cannot do this. However, if it is not supported in your region, but if your device supports it, you can go ahead and download FindLock, which is a launcher for GoodLock application. You can download the APKs there and install it on your device. Now, let me show you how exactly you can customize your Samsung keyboard to get this particular theme or this particular effect. Let's go ahead and open Keys Cafe. Here we have got a couple of options to customize the keyboard. The first one is make your own keyboard. We are not going to touch this because this is for customizing the key locations and function keys. Now the second one is style your own keyboard. This is where we are going to customize the theme on the keyboard. Let me tap on this. Here on the top we have got my themes which we have created already. And then we have recommendations. We can select any of these recommendations as well. But if you want the same keyboard which I have on my phone, we will have to create it separately. Now I will tap on this plus button to create a new keyboard. Here as you can see there are different circles over here. Each circle indicates a particular portion of the keyboard on which we can add the effect or add the colors. Now apart from adding colors to each section of the keyboard, we also have an option to change the background on this keyboard and that is what I have done on the keyboard which I have already customized. Now here is an option on the right hand side of the keyboard as you can see this circle you need to tap to add a particular background from the gallery. Now uh, this is the pop-up we have, I will tap on gallery. From the gallery I have added a specific background image or a wallpaper on the keyboard to get that blue black background effect. Now here you see this is the wallpaper which I have added for the background. You can of course add any image you want depending on your preferences and tastes. All you need to do is once you add the background, you have to customize the keys to suit that particular background. Now since I've added this image, what I'm going to do is I will tap on this particular circle and match the same color which is on the background. I'm going to select this bluish color. I'll tap on OK. Now I'm going to add the same color for some of the other elements as well. Uh, for example, uh, this one, the bottom circle here, I'll tap on this. I will add the same color for this as well. Now this circle enables us to change the colors for all the symbols menu. I'll tap on this and add the same color here. And I will keep the dark color on these individual keys background as well as the icons background on the top of the keyboard. I will keep it dark. I'm not going to change the colors on the rest of these areas. Uh, the circles you see here, I will leave it as it is. Now let's go ahead and tap on this download icon on the top right corner. Add a name for this theme and tap on OK. Now the theme has been downloaded on the Keys Cafe or on the Theme Park engine. We can set this keyboard from both these modules. Now after saving it, all you need to do is go to the Keys Cafe module. Here at the bottom we have got options like effects and sound. Uh, I will tap on FX. You can select any effect you want here. Just tap on it. That will get applied to the keyboard that you have created. As simple as that. It is going to take a couple of minutes for you to create this theme on your Samsung keyboard. If you want to go and further edit this theme which you have already created, all you need to do is go to Theme Park, tap on Keyboard. Here you can tap on the same keyboard you have just created. You get an option to edit it. As you can see, we have Reapply, Edit, Release. When you tap on Release, you will go back to the stock keyboard theme. If you want to edit it, just tap on edit to further edit the keyboard which you have already created. As you can see, I have created another keyboard with a different background. Now for you guys to create similar themes, you can use the same backgrounds. I have left both the wallpaper links in the description. You can use the same wallpapers and create these themes. And I've also left a screenshot for the settings of the theme 
which will help you pick the colors in the right section of the keyboard. So go ahead and check those links in the description. I hope this will be useful for those of you who are interested in theming your keyboard exactly like the way I have it on my phone. Or you can be creative and you can create your own keyboard with some different backgrounds and different color effects on the keys. That's about it. I hope you have subscribed to the channel already and given this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.